please. Kelly, Arkansas was a rematch. Obviously played them already in January. Does that help a little bit with the scouting report, or, or do you, do you, are there some new wrinkles your team has to get ready for? Well, I think any time you're playing a, a team for the second time, you've got to prepare for something different. You know what they do, but you've got to prepare for something different. I think Arkansas is uh, – they're playing great right now, um, they're, and they're playing with a lot of confidence. Um, uh, and they look like a different team than when we played them, so we, we have to prepare for their best. Kelly, you said that last week, you know, your team was really feeling the absence of Key and Green. How do you feel like they are now kind of mentally processing that loss and the response from Thursday? Um, the, the loss on Thursday was, uh, it was tough for all of us. Uh, I mean, it's been a long three days here. Um, you know, our, our team is, uh, took it hard. Um, I think they have a pretty good mindset. I think they have a pretty good attitude at this point. Um, you know, uh, uh, the, one of the hardest things that happened, we had an off day on Friday. When you lose a basketball game, you, you want to get back out there with your team. You want to practice. You want to try to get something to move on. And um, So we, we were able to, to have a really good practice on, um, on Saturday. And then um, and hopefully, hopefully they're still feeling good about what we're doing. Kelly, I'm curious what your thoughts were, kind of what your emotions uh, you were feeling after the loss when you realized Arkansas had won their third straight upsetting a number 12 LSU on that same night? Um, honestly, I, I didn't. I didn't pay attention to the other scores. It was just really locked into us. And, you know, like I said, it's, we hadn't lost in a while. So uh, you almost forget how to lose a little bit. That's okay. We're, we're out with that feeling. Um, it was a gut punch, but it's a loss. And I think for us, we've got to learn from it. We've got to figure out how we're going to move on from that. Um, you know, we still have a lot of basketball left to be played this year. And there's, there are a lot of goals that we can still accomplish this season. You got your team back on the court, obviously, Saturday for practice. What were your primary points of emphasis Saturday when you got them regrouped? Well, we talked about what we needed to be better at. Um, you know, we, we practiced, the, we watched film. Uh, we practiced those things. We were we were pretty specific in practice, and um, you know I thought we had uh, we had a good group of guys there uh, to to practice against that day. And we didn't want to go extremely long, but we wanted to be intense while we were here. And again, I I, I think the biggest thing for me is I wanted to, to see how are they going to respond, what's what's their mentality, what's their attitude. And I thought it was really good. I thought they were where we needed them to be. Do you have an update on Kaya Wynn? She was in a boot Thursday, didn't play. Just want to get up there. Yeah, she, um, she, she had an ankle sprain and then uh, rolled it again. So um, I, I'm not 100% sure what her status is. We're trying to work her back in, but um, she, she's been pretty limited. She was limited um, in practice on Saturday. Um, so we'll, we'll see. We've got to be careful with it. We, we, you know, it's one of those things that's going to be aggravating, I think, the rest of the year. But we've got to figure out you know, that happy balance, how to get her back into some practices without, um, you know, causing any more damage. In those, those first practices after a loss, do you notice any differences in attitude or focus in practice in those first practices? You know, one of the things that we've said, um, we've said earlier this year, um, when I walk into practice, and this is at any point, if I walk into practice, can I tell we just won or can I tell we just lost? And we talked about that, you know, we'd like to be able to be the team when you walk in, you can't tell what just happened the night before. And, um, you know, I, I, think, I think you could tell we were, we were pretty locked in, we were pretty focused. But we, we've been that way the majority of the season. So um, it didn't look a lot different. The, the focus was there, the energy was there, the emphasis was there. Um, it, it was where I wanted them to be on Saturday. Jordan Horson after the game kind of mentioned, you know, I, I don't want uh, she said, you know, I, I, I don't envy the team that plays us next after this loss. Um, how does she kind of show that, that attitude in a practice after a loss? Is it, is it physical? Is it kind of emotional? What, what she kind of... I think, I think competitive players, that's their mindset, right? Um, anybody that... Um, anybody that's competitive and loses, the next thing you want, to, you want to play. And it doesn't matter who you play, you just want to play, right? And I think that's where, where she was at. And, um, you know, they, uh, I talked to her a little bit and, and about, ah, it's a day off. So I know some of our players on day off came in and got some shots up. Um, one, they do that. But two, I think it helped them to try to process the game. And, um, you know, we're not trying to, we're trying to learn from it. We're not trying to, um, 
uh, blow it out of proportion. Uh, it, it's a loss, and we can we can recover from that. Um, but uh, that's that's definitely that was definitely several players' mindsets of who are we playing next, you know, kind of thing. Kelly Jordan said that the team's playing a little bit frustrated, and, and a lot, some of that confidence that you guys were relying on all season wasn't really there. How do you kind of build that back up? Is that really up to the players? Yeah, you know, I think we we went away. Um, I thought against Auburn we went away from what we've been good at. I thought we've been trending and slipping in some areas that we needed to get back um, uh, sharp. You know, we need to be, be sharp with what we do well. And um, I, think, I think that's where we kind of got a little frustrated, you know, and um, play, played more frustrated that game than we've, than we've played. But um, our, our players understood that after the game, we talked about, you know, hey, this is, this is what it was and this is what it needs to look like. They understood, you know, and, and we're committed in that practice on Saturday to try to make it look like it needed to look again. Besides Tamari Key just simply cannot get in foul trouble, which you hope not to happen, what, what are your best options behind her right now when she needs to come out of the game, either because of fouls or just to get a little bit of rest? Yeah, you know, that's going to be situational, and it's going to be each team um, that we play and systems may lend to different people. Um, so we've got, we're going to have to utilize um, a lot of different people. You know, obviously Emily had some minutes. Caroline Striplin will have some minutes. We could go small, um, play Sarah and, and Alexis Dye. Um, we could play a four guards with a, with a post in there. So I think we have options, and I think those options are going to be very situational. How we practiced, what it looked like leading up to, I think that's important as well. How welcoming is this return home after you know, kind of sandwiched in between two more road games? Yeah, this is a tough stretch. You know, we're on the road quite a bit. Also, um, classes started um, this past week, and, and uh, you know, I know that's been uh, when we've not had class for a couple months. That's that's been a long week for them as well, um, just getting their routines back. Um, so I think being at home is good. We obviously we love playing here. Um, we we love being in Thompson Bowl Arena in front of our fans because it's such a great environment. But, um, you know, when, when, you're, when your schedule is road heavy, you, you just got to be ready to go. You got a, I guess the best way to say it, you got a little bit away from your identity uh, last, you know, against Auburn. And, you know, players start to feel pressure, maybe trying to do too much or I got to make a shot now. Do you think this team can get back relatively quickly, particularly this week, to its identity of how it plays? I, I think so. I think, you know, I, I, like I said, I don't want to we, – we were trending a little bit that way prior to the Auburn game, and I think it's um, – you know, I, I feel like we can. Obviously, people are going to try to take away our strengths. We know that. Um, but for us, we've, we've got to understand how we play. We do. We understand that. It's just a matter of um, – the execution piece on both ends of the court and being who we are and, you know, having confidence in that. So at this point, y'all, I mean, just flush it and, and move on. Look at Arkansas and Florida. And you come. Yeah, yeah, I mean, I think you have to address it. I think you have to address, you have a loss, I think you have to address it and you have to address why the loss happened. And, um, you know, you, you don't discount the way Auburn played. They played fantastic. Um, I think you, you throw that in there too. And, um, but then at the same time, uh, one thing I always say, if we, if we're gonna lose, we better learn from it. Otherwise, why'd you lose? So we're gonna we're gonna try to lose, try to learn from the loss and uh, be a better basketball team afterwards. Kind of a funny follow-up. There's been a lot of media angst, fan angst about the loss. I mean, is that not progress? That that <laughs> you get one loss and, and you think that the walls are falling down. I mean, is that in a odd sort of way a lot of progress for where this program is at right now? It's Tennessee. The expectations are so high. Uh, I mean, you know that. We felt it when, when I played here, you know, you, you lose a game and, and um, people struggle with that. It's okay. It's, it's uh, you know, we, we, we'd like to have some patience there, but our, our greatest, one of our greatest strengths is the passion and the investment that our fans have in this program. And so I think, um, you know, we understand when we lose, they hurt. They hurt. It, it's, they cry too. I get it. I, they, they love this program. And, um, you know, so we're, we've, we've got, a, got a lot on our shoulders, you know. We're car carrying a lot of, a lot of people's uh, happiness, <laughs> you know. So we, we've, we've got to, we have to step up and, and handle that. Kind of along those same lines, 
how do you shut out the noise when you're doing well? There's a lot of noise when you lose. There's a lot of noise. How do you help the team kind of shut out that noise? Yeah, I think that's important. I think for us, just understanding um, there's going to be highs and lows and not getting too high um, because, you know, when the lows hit, you don't want to then dip too low. You just got to stay consistent. And I think that's where you have to trust what we're doing. You have to trust in your teammates. You have to have belief in that locker room um, because there's, there's going to be a lot of noise. And, um, you know, I know um, I have a lot of confidence in what we're doing, um, but these are these are young kids. I mean, they 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 you know they're emotional and um, you know live in this world where they hear a lot of that, and so they I think it, they have to be very mature um, and just try to handle that poise and stay consistent. They've done it all year, and I think I think we can handle it. Kelly, you've mentioned multiple times you kind of strayed away from being yourself. What do you believe yourself is? What is your team? Um, we, we've got to be really good on defense. Got to have paint touches. Um, got to have good pace. And we got to be great on the boards. Turnovers have been a struggle all year, but what was different Thursdays, it felt like all of them were going right into Auburn's hands and they were going to go score or get a good possession off of it. What does your team need to do to eliminate that kind of turnover? Well, we watched them all. You know, I think there were there were some that were just um, uh, issues with our spacing offensively. We talked a little bit about that. I think there were some that were, um, you know, people just trying to do too much. Um, there were some careless mistakes, and then there were some that just not reading the defense. So there, there were so many different types of turnovers. That, you know, you can't hone in on one specific thing. So, you know, we talked about it. We, we, we um, worked on it in practice as well. We did a good job, I thought, yesterday of taking care of the basketball in practice. Um, but also just being very specific, you know, uh, with our players in film session and, and even asking, how, okay, it, it's not – it's not scolding them for it. They know they shouldn't have done it. They, they feel bad about it. All right, now how do we correct it? Let's talk about that. And so I think that was really good for them. All right. Thank you, Coach. All right. Thank you.